Before I start the video, I just wanted to update you guys real quick on my plans for the Unranked to Bronze 5 series. For those who are new, my original plan was to get a Bronze 5 account by playing from Unranked and losing until I reach rock bottom. The word got out that I wanted to do this and I was generously donated an account that ended off in Bronze 4 last season. It had 4 losses in placements already and I thought that it would be easy to just jump on and lose the rest and hopefully get Bronze 5. I knew that there will be audience backlash if I straight up inted AFK'd or otherwise forced my team to lose. So instead I employed this tactic. I put on a video to distract me in the background while I first timed very difficult to play champions that I sort of wanted to learn anyway. In lane I would quote unquote accidentally die to the enemy several times and then start playing normally. I gave that a try and still won most of my games. I just kept winning so I had this bright idea of playing Doran's Blade Soraka mid and this is what happened. <laughs> your enemies, see them driven before you, they hear the lamentation of your women. You're fired. Surprisingly, I topped the highest damage dealt while having very little intention of winning. I am quite convinced that you can literally play anything in bronze to climb as long as you know a few basics and not stress. If you get deranked in bronze, you are actually trolling. I had to ask the original owner to lose a bunch of games for me, but even he said it was far too difficult to derank. Anyways, in this series, I'll be kicking off by playing in Bronze 3 with very bad MMR. I feel this is a very good starting spot and should be enough to cover every elo that you guys could possibly be in. I'll be starting off the series with my one trick champion, but I'm open to play a bunch of other champions based on your comments below. I'll have a list of those champions I want to learn on screen now so you guys can suggest one. Anyways, enjoy the very first episode of Bronze 3 to Diamond series. Okay, so jumping into our first game, OP.GG and runes on the screen just for your reference, and also we're up against Nasus who has Ignite and Fleet Footwork, so very scary stuff, like he could do some really cheesy stuff, and that's what you have to watch out for in low elo is don't get cheesed early, just play it out, just farm up, you don't need to do any crazy plays, don't do anything insane like that, the safer play is always the better play. Once you farm up, you're just automatically going to win because you'll farm better than them, and it's as simple as that, that's just how you climb. Every high elo player will tell you this, so I'm telling you right now. Just farm up, you don't need to do anything crazy. Shaker might be coming in for a gank, so I'll just watch out for that. Watch the map. It looks like Wukong has started there. So that's something for us to know, we don't really need to tell them. And also, I would also mute all in most cases, but because I'm doing this for you guys, I don't have mute all on. But I'll just ignore them because in bronze or in any low elo, they, they will never say anything important, so don't worry. Okay, so he just did a crazy trade where he was standing inside my minion wave. So you just trade back, as simple as that. Just wait for them to make mistakes or really silly things like that. You don't need to be really proactive otherwise. But yeah, we do have Ignite and I want him to go for our backline and then I'll just run him down because there's a long way to walk. Like from here? He goes for this one, please. Ah, okay. Let's go. Put that I guess. Down. Look, now. if he fights in our minion wave, then we win, so he can't do that. As Nasus, especially, he can't do that. And I know he's running Ignite, so that's why I just ignited him, because I know that I'm already ahead, so if we both trade Ignites, then I still win. If we're both running Teleport, I'll still win in that situation as well. But, you know, low elo in a nutshell, guys. So let's try to snowball it off that. Oh, by the way, Caitlyn is bronze 5, so hopefully she feeds so that I can show you guys how to carry if your team feeds. 
If they don't feed, it's not my problem, but I'll show you guys OP.GG so you guys can't complain and say that this is not a low bronze game because there, there are bronze 5 players on my team, so... I mean, it's not as bad as people in the comments make it out to be where everyone just feeds really early and, like, they go 0-12 in the first 5 minutes. Like, no. It's, uh, in, not, in what world does that happen? Like, maybe in that one game out of 100? But very rare. I'm sure it does happen. Oh yeah, you can also get free auto attacks with your grasp. I'll be sure to play another champion for next episode. Wait, is he not gonna wither me? I'll take it. What? He just needed to wither me and walk away, he didn't need to flash. I wasn't gonna go after him. Oh, okay. Well, that's Wukong's gap closer, so we can just spin away. Okay. Wukong, top. Just do this. It's a good thing to let your team know. Even if they're not going to use that information because it's bronze. But it's a good habit to get into. So I don't respect this Nasus enough to freeze on him. I'm just going to buy a Tiamat right away. Just for the sake of it. But if say this was high elo, I would go for teleport always. Because I know I'll get punished for having Ignite. And also instead of Tiamat, I'll probably get components of Zeal. Or I'll get components of Tiamat and an attack speed dagger because I want to freeze on him. But in bronze, I don't really care. I can just keep pushing into him and I won't get punished for it. So that's the big difference if you were to play in high and low elo. Is I'll run ignite and be a lot more aggressive and just hammer out a win. Wait, this guy's crazy. He's out of mana. He knows I'm going to push this right in and he's going to miss this whole wave or I'll dive him. I let him auto me. Okay, nice. So my minions hit him. And then after that... Am I inting? Oh no, I'm good. Hopefully Wukong doesn't come. If he comes, I'm dead. But this is now pushing back towards me. So you can always do that. I was asking if I was inting because I could have flashed there and guaranteed that I had a lot of health. But I got greedy. Okay, so... Our bot lane is now 0-1, 0-1. That's really good. That means we can try to carry. But to be honest, it's very, very simple to carry just because the enemy will slip up non-stop in bronze. And in silver and in gold and in plat as well. So don't worry, guys. I'll eventually get to those elo. Okay, so we don't know where Wukong is. The thing is, we want to know where Wukong is. Uh, we'll get level 6 anyway. So even if he comes, I think I can 1v2. Alright, there's my 6. Nope. Just constantly check your minimap. If I had teleport, I would have went down there actually. That's a really good cleanup. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea where Wukong is. He could be farming or 16 CS. Just do that. Auto, Tiamat, auto, and then spin away. Oh, he's coming in. He's crazy. Alright, this guy's diveable now. He's not even 6 yet. Nice, okay, he's gonna miss this entire wave. Wukong's mid, so I'm safe to proxy this wave that's coming in. It's like this. And then now we can just kill Nasus on his way to... On his way to the tower, we just kill him. Simple as that. He's gonna come very soon, or else he's gonna miss all of this. There he is. Alright, there's his wither. Uh, Wukong could be coming over, actually. I think I can 1v2. I'm gonna ask for help. Alright, he's dead. Please. We can kill it. Okay. I just asked for Shaker to come in case of uh, Wukong. That's about it. So that way he can clean up even if I die. But I wouldn't die unless I'm tower diving. So it depends on when Wukong shows up. But luckily we see him down there. So we get to take a first blood tower very easily. And look at that. NASA's still level 5. That's the difference between... You know how when I... When I show you guys that I'm playing in Diamond? 
and then when I show you guys playing in bronze, there's a massive difference. Like, elo really, really matters. It doesn't really matter about the matchup, it's more about the elo you're in. The lower elo you are, it, the e it just becomes a free win, because they don't know how to play. Let's go get our plant, just to heal up. And then we might even get Rift Herald, but the thing is, we already dominated lane before Rift Herald even spawned, so that's record time. What I can do is, I'll get, I'll get these little golems here, because I want to get my PD. My PD costs 2300, so I'm 150 off. So once I take these little golems out, then I'll go and push out top again. And then after that, I'll go back, buy my PD, push out top again, and then get Rift Herald. That's the plan, guys. And it's like clockwork, you do that for every single game you're playing. Also, in low elo, if you're up against ranged matchups, even better. Just buy a Doran shield, get Fury from the wave, and then just all in them. Because they don't know how to kite, they'll just stand there and fight you and you'll win. Ooh, okay. Cool. That Nasus just leashed this for me, really nice of him. Okay, now we push this in. And then we'll go back and buy our PD. To be honest, based on how far ahead we are, because look at this, say if we didn't get these 3 kills, it'll be 7-3. to three. So our team is technically losing 7-3 to three if I went 0-0 and in lane, and I didn't get any help at all. So that goes to show that if you're in my shoes, then you'll be on a losing team right now. But it doesn't matter because it's very easy to carry in low elo, so I'll show you guys. Okay, let's get these raptors here. We lost Mountain as well, so our bot side is just getting completely destroyed. Bronze 5 Caitlyn is 0-4. Very good. So now that, like I said, it's like clockwork. I get my PD, I come back, and then I get Rift Herald. Simple as that. If they come, I should be able to fight them. 1-1 one one Wukong. He's level 6 though. So I should be very, very strong. Like I'll look really overpowered, but it's only because I've been farming and they haven't. That's what I mean by if you get CS and if you get your EXP, you're going to win just based off of that. Like nothing else matters. Like they could feed each other all they want, but if they don't know how to farm, then they're going to be under leveled. And you're going to be, I'm level 9 and there's like a level 6 Blitzcrank, level 6 jungler. They don't know how to farm. So let's start taking more jungle camps. Actually, I should be pushing out top. Oh well, I'll get there soon. And if Wukong comes over, I'm the new jungle camp right here. Wait, he's not gonna go invis? I was waiting for him to go invis so that I can use my E. I was saving my E for that. But I'll take it. I also ignited him so that I it'll glimmer. If he goes invis, it'll glimmer. That's what I wanted to do is ignite him early. So that I could see where he goes. Uh, let's just drop Rift Held here. Because they already cleared these guys out, and we cleared out the junglers, so they have no one else defending mid. And we can just close out the game from here. And it's only 12 minutes in. Even though our bot lane got destroyed, it doesn't matter. I mean, if they want to, I want to dive this, but my team's too scared. Let's not do anything crazy. The safer play is always the better play. Get a free red buff. Please, please don't come. Please don't come. Thank you. Appreciate the Shaco. Uh, okay. Come safe. Man, I really need to get out of here. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I'm dead. Ah, there was an ignite. Oh, well. doesn't matter. We can easily come back from this. Just don't do it too many times though. I completely entered there. But in all honesty, when I went in, I was so used to the fact that Caitlyn would turn around, being full health and all, and just auto that Wukong like once or twice, and that would have been a free kill. And then after that, we'll start autoing the others so they don't actually chase me down. But I keep forgetting like this isn't my regular game, so I can't work with these teammates at all. Like just be a solo carry. Okay, since they're going to clear out the farm here, and they let Nasus go for some reason. And Nivea kind of walked past him. Let's see, mid is getting... Oh, bot is getting destroyed. Yeah, that's a dead Caitlyn. I'm pretty sure, even though they're under tower. 
That's alright. We'll just push our mid. That's a lot of farm. And Nivea is getting our top farm, so nothing's going to waste right now. Might be able to farm more camps. Oh, he's silly enough to go in. Okay. Is he gonna invis? He should. Ah, oh, there's his ult. That's fine. I'll take it. Ooh, okay. Let's go top and help out Anivia. This should be another free kill. I have Ignite coming up in 20. I don't think I'll be able to use it on him. She can get a stun off. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, there's a lot of people coming top. Let's see. Ash is 2 and 2. Should be able to get a wolf camp here before they come over. Have ward coverage anyway. This is the best spot to put a ward. Just so you guys know. If you're new to the channel, always put a ward here when you're split pushing top. Is Ash coming over? What? Oh, okay. They know I'm here. But they're aiming wrong though. Alright, so... Enemy Rampage? What, like, this is a 1 in 10 bot lane right now. The best thing to do is just to take out this tower. That's all there is to it, guys. You don't need to group. If you group, then you'll probably die as well. So, we take this and force someone to come over, and if by some miracle they just all in, in mid and die, then... Well, we still get this tower. It's still a win-win situation. Uh, our Caitlyn just died again. This is why she's bronze 5. Okay, so I don't know what they're doing, they're like goofing off somewhere, but they're taking forever to come and stop me. Ah, uh, that wasn't even going to happen, <laughs> that Blitzcrank. Okay, let's get our Essence Reaver, and then we'll head over to Dragon. Is he silly enough? Yeah, he's not. If he comes over, he's dead. Look at my items right now, it's 17 minutes, and I have a completed Essence Reaver, Phantom Dancer, Tiamat, and also Zerkas. Actually completely loaded. Like, this is not what I'll get in 17 minutes. Something I get in like 25 minutes in my diamond games. Get another objective, this is a really big one. It doesn't matter what our team does, it really doesn't. As long as we're getting objectives non-stop and pushing out, that's all that matters. Okay, I can come help her, but after Dragon though. Dragon's more important than Caitlyn. Okay, that's a dead Nasus. I'm the party pooper. Let's go get Ash as well. Ash is somewhere over here. Where'd she go? Huh. Okay, let's help Caitlyn push our bot. So that's another tower down. And that's all we need to do is just keep getting towers. Towers, Rift Herald, Dragon, and... Yeah. Just all the whole lot. Get the inhib as well because no one seems to be defending. They sent three people down there. Oh, okay. They mean business. They want me out of here. So let's leap for now. We can get a blue buff as well over here. Just take everything. Take all the resources off the map. But don't deny it from your own team. Just take it from the enemy. Mm, that's a dead Caitlyn. I might be able to help her out. Oh my, it's a free kill. Oh, never mind. They're gonna go for Ziggs. Ziggs kind of asked for it though. He can see everyone. Like, I was scouting out for him. Yeah, he's completely dead. I'm not going in 1v5. But you can see why these guys, our bot lane is bronze 5. They can clearly see everyone in the jungle. They can see someone walking up to them. And he still keeps pushing forward. Eh, I guess. Oh, we have Baron spawning in 10 seconds, so if someone comes and does Baron with me, I'm so strong. Huh? What? Is that Caitlyn trying to BM me? I, I sense sarcasm. Ooh, nice! Zenivia's a god. Got the assist. Zenivia's 6-0? What? That's not what I wanted to see. 
But it happens, guys. There's at least one person that does well on your team. Even if your entire bot lane does that. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay, take out inhib. And also... Oh, okay. Okay, I need to get out of here. Alright, we have so much gold right now. But yeah guys, if you suggest a different champion to me, I won't be able to carry as efficiently as Trindomir because I'm a one trick. We can definitely take Baron as well. 20 minutes and we have these items. That's freaking insane. Uh, I guess. I don't want him to tilt. Yeah, definitely help. I can't solo it. I'll need like a full build to solo. Okay, nice. Now we go to bot. So it's just simple rotations, guys. You go... You just go for every tower you can get. Whatever's the easiest to get, you just get it. And if bot tower is the next easiest thing to get, you get it. Because these Nexus towers are not easy for me to solo. But if my team is more coordinated, sure, I'll go with them. But if not, then... The best thing to do is always to split push. Always split push, force someone to come to you, and if you can kill them, you kill them. If you can't, then you push them into tower, and then you rotate. So that's just how it works, guys. Okay, so push in bot, and then we end the game. But yeah, definitely leave a comment and let me know what you guys want to see next, like in terms of champions. Because I have a list at the very start of the... Ooh, it's Oh, I'm dead. Wait, am I dead? Oh, what the hell? I'm not dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Wait, I'm not dead. I could have sworn I just entered there on purpose and I didn't die. Wow. Can I get a red buff? Nice. Okay, let's end the game. Ash died to minions. Feels bad. Whew. Okay, GG well played. Okay, well that is the first episode done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you have any feedback in terms of helping me improve the format of this video, please leave them down in the comments below. Otherwise, if you do enjoy it and you learned something or you really like this series, please show some support with a like, comment, subscribe. And also there's a bunch of links in the description box which could further support this channel such as donating. So yeah, GG well played. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.